If you've ever wondered what exactly headless commerce is and how it works, you came to the right place. In this video, we will take a look at traditional and headless e-commerce and analyze the benefits and disadvantages of each. E-commerce has changed a lot in the last years and is ever-changing. There are new trends and customer needs, behaviors and expectations that develop over time. Retailers need to keep up with these trends, quickly respond to changes and keep meeting the demands of modern day customers. This is where headless commerce comes in. The main characteristic of headless commerce is decoupling the front end from the back end. Headless commerce gives developers more flexibility and control compared to the traditional approach. By allowing them to pick and choose technologies used in every aspect of the application. Let's take a closer look at this, starting with traditional e-commerce. Before headless came along, traditional e-commerce systems used a monolithic approach. This means that the front-end and the back-end were one highly interconnected system, as depicted here. While this could be an advantage for smaller online shops, it unfortunately comes at a cost of giving you very little to no flexibility in terms of technologies. Let's talk about the benefits of traditional e-commerce. It's great when you just want to start selling and scalability or independence from your vendor is not important. If you're a small business and your online shop is relatively small, you'll probably be fine with a monolith. Monolith, in most cases, also require less technical knowledge. You can more easily set them up, often with just a few clicks. Sometimes traditional e-commerce solutions might cover your needs, but come at a price. Monoliths lock you with a particular vendor. This makes it very difficult, if not impossible, to migrate to another solution later. Backend performance bottlenecks can make the front-end experience slow and you're limited to the features that any given solution offers. For example, you can't swap the CMS if it doesn't support the features you need. Now let's talk about headless commerce. Here, the front end is decoupled from the back end. It uses APIs to connect with the platforms, but this is not limited to e-commerce platforms. Developers can use all kinds of powerful APIs, such as CMS, alternative payment methods, search, authentication, and so on. The developer's imagination really is the limit here. Let's take a look at some benefits of headless commerce. Flexibility in design by solving the problem of limited templating systems in most traditional e-commerce solutions. More independence from your vendors, so it's easier to switch and is more future-proof. Headless commerce websites are generally faster than traditional shops, especially in the in-app navigation. You have total control over the front end of your application. Services usually scale independently from each other, and one back end can power several front ends. For example, different websites, native mobile applications, smartwatch interfaces, voice assistants, and so on. But of course, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are some downsides. It can take longer to develop, it is harder to maintain, and it introduces more complexity. Dealing with different vendors and technologies, each with their own ways to maintain. There are also potential additional costs with separate hosting and maintenance for each service. So you might ask, where does View Storefront come in? View Storefront is a ready-to-use open-source front-end that can work with any e-commerce platform. It has a rich ecosystem that speed up the development of headless commerce stores. A notable advantage of View Storefront is that most of the heavy lifting can be done by front-end developers, so fewer domain experts are needed. What is your take on headless commerce? Try out View Storefront and let us know. If you have any more questions, join our Discord server at discord.viewstorefront.io. Our team is happy to talk to you.